What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan and today is gonna to be episode number two of the build blog and the Datsun 280Z. We're gonna be revamping the exterior and today I'm building my own custom aluminum front grille. I don't really like all the aftermarket options out there so I'm gonna make my own design. Hopefully it looks good and if you guys wanna see how I build it and what it looks like, stick around. All right guys, so this is the stock front grill right here and it's only an upper grill. So today we're just gonna make an upper grill. Eventually I'm gonna make a lower grill that matches the same style as the top one, but I have a new front valence coming. So I'm gonna put that on before making any design decisions. So today I am going to be removing all of this with the turn signals and making my own front grill. To give you an idea of what we're making, I have some raw aluminum uh, square tubing and I have some hexagon mesh grill. And this is definitely a more modern type of grill, but um, they actually made a grill like this for a special edition of the Datsun back in the day. In a perfect world, I would love to make a front grill that matches the same point as on the hood. The hood is about 15 degrees pointed, but um, if you make it that aggressive of a point, it's gonna keep the hood from opening with these mounting points that we have down here. Just ask me how I know that. Just, just ask me how I figured that out. Uh, so we're gonna tone it back a little bit and we're just gonna do 10 degrees of a bend and uh, that's gonna be enough to give us a little bit of a bent crease look, but it won't get in the way of the hood. Also, the car has about a 15 degree rake in the front end. So we're gonna make the front grille match that rake. Each side of the hood has about 19 inches of space on each side of it. So times that by two is 38 inches and that's how much material you need for each side of the grille. A really cool way to get a nice bend on your aluminum, um, but also keeping this part solid, is just make a couple really thin cuts on the back side of the uh, material and you can actually bend it by hand. And so that's gonna give us a really nice smooth finish in the front and you can bend it to basically whatever angle you want. To make that 15 degree rake of the grill, all we have to do is cut a couple three and a half inch pieces and then cut them at 15 degrees on either side. And this next part is a little bit risky because I have to crease it with one of the existing bars that I have. So let's see if I can let's see if I can do this properly. There we go. Cut six brackets and then put two chamfered holes on either side. Next, use your finger to bend them to 15 degrees, which is about that much. Then make a couple more that are a little bit bigger and bend them at 90 degrees. And last but not least, get yourself some hardware. And finally, we have everything that we need to fabricate the front grille. And you might be wondering why we decided to make these brackets. And basically the brackets gonna go right there and they're gonna attach it here and there and also at the other end. I decided to do it this way because there's not a lot of people out there who know how to weld aluminum. So if you're watching this video and you want to do this at your house, um, you can do it just with simple tools and a little bit of hardware. So that's pretty cool. Got it. In the front of the car, there's still the place where the blinkers mount. And this is part of the sheet metal, so um, I'm not gonna remove it today. I'm actually just gonna paint it with some anti-rust paint. That way it's protected, uh, but they're looking pretty bad. I'm hoping that the matte black anti-rust paint's gonna hide them. All right, so while that's drying, we're gonna start fabricating our front grill. I'm gonna use this torch and we're gonna use this brazing rod and we're gonna be doing a little bit of melting of the metal, but nothing too serious. This can be found at Lowe's for $5 and you can buy these at Lowe's for $50. And brazing metal is super, super easy. All you have to do is take that torch 
Heat up this metal to above 700 degrees because this melts at 700 degrees and this melts at 1200 degrees. So it's pretty foolproof. Heat it up and then when it's over 700, all you do is just take it, put it in the joint there and it's gonna melt down in there. And this is just gonna help us make sure that this doesn't break loose and it's just a little bit extra security. There's a little bit of extra down here, but I can just grind that off later and it's no problem. So I'm gonna do this to both of our front sections and then we're gonna move on. Once that's done, take your bracket and take the short stubby end that's bent, line it up on the edge and then mark your hole and drill a hole there because we're gonna be putting a screw there before we put the, uh, the bottom sections on. So you can see how this is gonna sort of come to life a little bit. We're gonna end up making two more holes here and here and we're gonna attach it there at the brackets. But remember that when you make the, uh, the pilot holes for these screws, they need to be smaller diameter than the sheet metal screw. That way it can make its own threads into the hole. All right, ladies and gents, she is coming along and I am super stoked. I mean, look how clean that edge looks and it's all even and it steps back just the way I wanted it to. So let's put it in here and mock it up real quick before we um, mock up the brackets. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks great. All right, so just to give you an idea of how I'm gonna mount this, is this is the bumper bracket my thumb is on, and then all I'm gonna do is just attach it to the side of the bumper bracket and then mount it to the grill. And it's just that simple. It's just a 90 degree angle, and then it just attaches there. Now I just need to test and see if the hood opens without ruining it, so <laughs> hopefully it goes good. and it clears perfect. Now we just need to mark the holes for the brackets and get it actually secured. Off camera, I decided to add two brackets to each side. That way, just a little bit extra secure. And um, you know, this is aluminum, so it's not super, super stiff. It's pretty soft stuff. So um, two brackets, I think, is gonna help make it just a little bit stronger. Next, I'm gonna start lining up my mesh and using a permanent marker and making lines because eventually I'm gonna have to cut all of this to fit to this grill here. Um, I've got all my markings on here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this with snips. I, I was thinking I could do it like on a saw table, but because the grill is kind of at like a point and angle, the, the, cut, the shape that I need to cut is kind of odd and kind of weird, so I'll be right back. I got the mesh all trimmed up, but unfortunately when I was doing that, I noticed a little hairline fracture here in the brazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of patches right here and right there, just to protect it over the long run. But other than that, we're in the home stretch. some marks earlier for the for the mounting brackets and I just need to drill a hole and then we'll slide it on put some hardware on it and it is in the car so let's get to drilling <laughs> remember if you cut a hole in mild steel that you gotta paint it that way it doesn't rust. All right, guys, this is the moment. This is what I've been waiting for. guys that wraps up episode number two of the exterior transformation of the Datsun 280Z. I'm going to continue to do projects like this and I'm excited to do more of the exterior stuff because that's the fun stuff. So if you want to see more of this and see what I do with the car over the next 12 months, like this video and subscribe. If you've been watching this long, thank you so much and I hope to see you next time. See you later. Broke a drill bit.